Ms. Del Benny. Thank you. Um, I have the honor of representing one of the most beautiful and diverse districts in the country. It includes the Alpine Lakes Wilderness, the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest, the North Cascades National Park, and the North Creek Forest. All incredible areas for people throughout our region and across the country to enjoy. Unfortunately, in just 14 days, the Congressional Authorization for the Land and Water Conservation Fund will expire. LWCF was established 50 years ago to maintain outdoor recreational opportunities nationwide. It's the only federal program dedicated to the conservation of our national parks, forests, wildernesses, wildlife refuges, state and local parks, and working forests. Since its inception, the fund has invested $637 million in Washington State projects alone, including three grants for the North Creek Forest, a 64-acre park I visited just last month, a community organization called Friends of North Creek Forest, and a college student named Jordan from the University of Washington at Bothell gave me a tour of the forest. For a senior thesis, Jordan has worked with the community and conservation volunteers to clean up the site and design new trails for hikers and hundreds of school children to enjoy. This forest is a safe and healthy place for our families and students to have fun and learn about species diversity and the importance of conservation efforts. This is just one project among thousands across the country. Without a new authorization for this critical program, environmental conservation projects and Washington's outdoor recreational industry would be needlessly harmed because not only is the Land and Water Conservation Fund crucial for protecting the Pacific Northwest's beautiful spaces, it's also important for our state's economy as well as the entire countries. In Washington State alone, outdoor recreation supports nearly 200,000 jobs and contributes $20 billion a year to our economy. The Land and Water Conservation Fund uses no taxpayer dollars and is funded through oil and gas receipts paid by energy companies. Unfortunately, in the past, Congress has diverted this money for other uses. That's why I, along with 159 of my colleagues, have co-sponsored a bill to permanently reauthorize the fund. My beautiful state boasts some of our nation's most amazing forests, mountains, and waterways. And taking care of these natural resources and protecting our environment is critical to preserving the quality of life that we cherish. We can't risk funding or defunding the great work of these environmental conservation projects, which is why Congress must reauthorize the Land and Water Conservation Fund. I want to thank Congressman Grijalva for organizing this special order hour on such a critical issue, and I yield back. Thank you very, thank you very much.